But getting back to this game that I never left. One, uh, that set up there, and he had a cool little run. Had a few cars, little mansion, you know, designer clothes. He never really could dress. You could just tell that he used to go in the mall and just see clothes on the damn mannequin and just say, give me that. But, I mean, hey. Um, he had a cold run. He really did. He had a lot of niggas in Vegas food. He was really doing his thing. You know, I was actually cool with this guy at one time. I always knew he wasn't the pimping. You don't got to be the pimping to be my but he started really showing his true colors, and I had to distance myself. Then you can't bite the hand that feeds you because God didn't gave, I didn't sit up there and gave you opportunities to have, you know, different broads and put you in different situations. And the game spanked me. Hey, man, when you be a blessing to the suck, a sucker, when you sit up there and give a with potential or a that's an authentic hole, and you give a nigga an opportunity to have this. Just because you cool with this, but you know in your heart and your motherfucking pimp mind that this is not a pimp, the game going to spank your ass too. And the game spanked me because I had individuals that was in my circles. They was professing, but they wasn't possessing. But due to the fact that they were my partners or I thought that they were my partners, anybody that know me because I'm official, I'm going to be beneficial to whoever basically around me. Because that's the type of ministry and chemistry that I have, you know what I mean, with individuals. So if you cool with me, of course, I don't want to see you holders and dollars. And even if you got, it might be a bitch that I don't want. And due to the fact that she don't fit me, that don't mean that she don't fit in this game. So, of course, I'm going to get on the phone lines, you know what I mean, if I don't desire this bitch no more uh, we didn't have a little interview and me listening to her. I think that she'll be a better fit for my partner. I'm going to hop on the line and be a blessing to the game so the game can keep being a blessing to me. So I've done that, but I have done that with some wrong individuals. And this individual, I've done that quite a few times. But bullshit ain't nothing. This individual ended up getting exposed. You know, he thought that by being friends with all of the strippers, fucking on these hoes, eating the pussy of other niggas hoes, eating the ass of other niggas hoes, you know what I mean? He thought that, you know, getting square on the side pregnant would never get exposed, but it did. Fucking on strippers, it did. It got exposed. The tricking that he was doing, you know what I mean? It got exposed. Yeah, he was tricking in strip clubs. That got exposed. And this is when you can really tell when a nigga has fucked up so cold with the boyfriend trick ass shit that he been doing. It's when a nigga has been deep before. When a nigga, when you didn't ever seen a nigga with 10 or more and he didn't have and they all still in the same city and you didn't seen that with different groups of his door was like a revolving door. He had this set of, that set of, this set of, this set of, and he falls the f off. And you mean to tell me did nobody out that multitude come back and give you a financial gratitude? Did nobody see you leaking? They seen you basically fall from right there, and now you all the way down here. And did nobody want to pick you up? Something is wrong with that picture. Something is wrong with a picture when you can have a large following like King Solomon. You deep as a motherfucker and you've been deep for years. You know, set after you had this set of eight, that set of eight, this set of 12, this set of six. You know what I mean? Then you really, you know, wasn't really getting your money's worth, but you knew how to make shit look good. Because in Vegas, you could make shit look good. You know what I mean? Nice houses. The cost of living is cheap. You can get foreign cars on gangster deals. So you can always make your situation look bigger than what the fuck it is. And it just mesmerize. But motherfucker that got the eyes of the game can see that this is the same lame ass situation 
before I sit up there and seen the one lamer before this. This ain't no, this ain't doing nothing but repeat. He think he's doing something new, but I done seen another clown before him that did the same goddamn thing. And whenever you're a clown, as the scripture says, your sins shall find you out. I'm here to tell you that the game gonna find you out. If you sitting over there, if you got a or some bitch that's out there prostituting, or you might have a real bona fide hoe that just like you for some dumbass reason, knowing that you ain't got a pimp bone in the body, but eventually the game gonna spank you too. If you know that you putting, you understand me, a pimp's reward in the wrong hand, the game's gonna end up beating your ass too. Don't worry. You know what I mean? Your consequence is coming too. Oh yeah, the game spank. But you know what I mean? If you know for a fact, the game gonna spank you too. Yes, I'm spanking the fellas, but the game gonna spank you too. Because some of you are sitting over there, you got boyfriends on the side, all type of uh, dumbass shit. But when you are in Vegas, you have, in other places too, Vegas ain't the only spot. But you know, you can put on an act like you really pimping. Because there's so many ways to get gangster deals on cars. And when you got certain connections, you can sit up there and get you some jewelry or fake jewelry. Because a lot of these is wearing fake jewelry because these can't tell the difference between real jewelry and fake jewelry. So it's a lot of in places like Vegas and Miami, Chicago too, you know what I mean? Wearing fake jewelry. And they show the same bankroll. I'm tired of that shit. That shit's so lame. You got niggas on Instagram. I call these uh uh, what's your boy name? What's my name that count the same trap? This count the same motherfucking trap. Black youngster. Some of these is black youngster to pee. They count the same money. Like, damn, bro, we get it. You didn't count the same 10,000, bro, for 10 months. Bro, you didn't sit up there and showed us the same fake ring and chain and watch for months now, bro. We get it. That no jewelry know the difference between real and fake. Some of these niggas are sitting over there counting uh, money, and if you look on it, you know what I mean. It's it, it say movie direct. It got a motherfucking Steven Spielberg on the dollar bill. I didn't even know money had Amber Rose face on the motherfucker. Some of you got some real funny money, man. You know what I mean. But by big these don't know what money look like, so they hitting the like button and like, ooh, ooh, Contrell, I see you. You done came a long way since I seen you in the hood. So, you know, you're able to deceive individuals that don't know no better, okay? But tell somebody say the game know. The game see everything. The game see you. The game see that you fraudulent. The game see that you you understand me, you not the real thing. And the game gonna reveal that you not the real thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a motion picture only. You know what I mean? That type of shit. You know? But this individual was able to could keep up a good front because number one, one of the ways of and I'm gonna speak on that later on, probably today or tomorrow. Uh, but one of the ways that deception is going on in the game, because these individuals rent cars or they get cars on gangster deals and they're able to sit up there and take a picture of a car posted on Facebook and Instagram. And once they sit up there, you understand me and post, you know, something on Facebook and Instagram, rest in peace to Nancy Wilson. To the late, great, legendary, incomparable uh, Nancy Wilson. Blessings to her family and may the peace of God that passes all human understanding be with the family and friends of the great Nancy Wilson. Um, but you know what I mean? And shouts out to Oscar. You know, thank you for the viable game. Say five on the plea. I got five on it. You already know. Appreciate the five, Oscar. Um, but you know, I I want you to understand the, the deception, the way these females are being deceived in the game. These guys put pictures of cars, pictures of rings, pictures of fake watches, sometimes pictures of fake money. And by them not knowing what the real is from the fake, 
these women sit up there and like it and jump in the comment section, you know, and then the DM and end up sitting over there losing, not choosing with this loser who's a male actress on Instagram. That's what ends up happening. Deception. And you're able to really get your deception game on in places like Vegas. Because if you're, if you're talking to a woman and she in the South or the Midwest or the East Coast, and you're on the West Coast and she's seeing palm trees in your background, and especially if she, she's seeing casinos and bright, bright lights, and she's in poverty, you know what I mean? And she's looking at you as a great opportunity to escape uh, poverty, to escape this urban community. Pretty much, she's going to try to capitalize on it. So you have a lot of individuals, they're not getting deep. I don't want you to be deceived. They're not getting deep by pimping. They're getting deep by buying tickets. You know what I mean? Tickets. They buy bus tickets. They buy plane tickets for these girls that seen picture, pictures of a car, money being counted, fake jewelry. And once these girls see these situations, they jump on the phone with these guys. And these guys say, let me buy you a bus ticket or let me buy your plane ticket. But one of the coldest deception ways that uh, they get these girls is by playing the BFE shit. They come in not with the PIMP shit. They come in with the MTV shit. They come with the VH1 shit, the boyfriend shit. And they talk real smooth and they have sexual conversations. They talk about how they're going to need ass. They talk about how they're going to need put and they have a good sexual conversation with these square bras or these square prostitutes that think that they're hoes. I can't wait to fuck you. You know, man, I can't, I can't wait to sit up there. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I looked at your picture and while I was sitting over there looking at your picture and shit, I was like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, I really want her to get the fee and everything like that, but God damn, I can't wait till we just get on the level where you know what I mean? I can really express myself to you, man. I I really can't even wait, you know what I mean, to go there with you. What you saying? I mean, I ain't going to lie to you, man. You, you know what? No, I ain't going to go there. I ain't going to get it. Oh, my God. Stop playing. Go there. No, what you mean? I mean, I mean, like, when I was scrolling down your pictures and things, man, I was like, I was like, damn, man. I was like, no, nah, her ass can't be real. My ass is real. It ain't. No, 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 no. Your ass ain't real like that. Yes, it is. It is. You're going to gonna have to sit up there and let me see. Oh, my God. I mean, seriously, though. You know what I mean? For real. Plus, you got to show these bitches out here how to look at so many ugly bitches out here. Oh my god, I done seen some girls, they kind of pretty out there. No, 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 not like you. Not like you. See, oh shit. I'm looking at this one picture right here. Oh my god, which picture? Which picture? No, 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 no. Hold on, let me see. The one with you, yeah, with the little red outfit. On February 13th. February 13th. Yeah, 2018. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, red my favorite color. Yeah, man, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, so so can I buy you that ticket? I just want to see you. Just come out and kick it for a weekend with me. You know what I mean? Let me kick it just the weekend. Oh, my God, I ain't never... I don't, I don't know you like that. I mean, you know what I mean? You can get to know me like that. Plus, I just want to show you around Vegas. Or I just want to show you around Miami. Or I just want to show you around this Hawaii. Or I just want to show you around this downtown Chicago. You know, wherever you at. You know what I mean? And I just want you to come through and kick it. You know what I mean? Oh my God. No, I've been looking at your pictures and stuff. Like, my friends was like, he probably sell dope for a pimp. Oh, girl, man. I just want to kick it with you. Mm hmm. You want to kick it all right. You want to get in my pants. You going to let me buy this ticket? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, then he pull up in the rental. Uh, he pull up in the little gangster deal car with the fake jewelry. 
You know what I mean? With the little uh, designer clothes, or the fake designer clothes that he bought in the parking lot of a fucking barbershop. And sit up there, you know what I mean? And get in. You know what I mean? He's smelling good. You know, at least he can do that. Some of these are still wearing juke, though. So, you know, uh, they sitting over there chopping it up. You know what I mean? And you already know, most likely less than an hour in. You already know he in them. You know he in that thing. It ain't going to take long. Within 60 minutes, you know what I mean? He Nine out of 10, he's in a hotel room or, you know what I mean, separated from his bitch or bitches. You know what I mean? And he he eating some p You know what I mean? He getting his fuck on. You know what I mean? And it's so much of what I just said. Y'all laughing like, oh my God. See, it's stupid. That's what's going on right now. You know what I mean? And what ends up happening is, now I, I want to tell you some truth now. I'm going to tell you a little bit of what happens. And then I'm going to tell you what most of the time happens. Okay. These niggas, because Vegas makes little people look big, he's able to take her back to, you know what I mean? Now, he couldn't take her back to the house maybe the first time. You know what I mean? Because, you know, baby mama or girlfriend slash prostitute bottom was there. So he didn't bother to go to the house because, you know what I mean? She a trip because she really run things. But uh, once he set up there, and had a conversation with his girlfriend slash prostitute wife to be or wife behind closed doors. Once wifey end up going to work, he brought the little Instagram bride over to Vegas crib. Now he over there. You know what I mean? And the bitch like, oh my God, your place looks so nice. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these little ghetto ass even some of these Instagram models, I'm not going to tell everybody business because I'm not on that. Some of these Instagram models and even some of these people on TV got a lot of y'all food. Okay. They got a lot. Of, <laughs> they got a lot of y'all food. You know what I mean? I ain't going to never expose nobody, but I'm not into the business of that. But they do have a lot of y'all food. You think because somebody on TV or they got over 100,000 followers that they live in life. It's not like that. Touch somebody say it's not like that. So she ends up bringing her big head ass on the Greyhound or the plane. You know what I mean? Depending on you know how comfortable. I don't, might meet a bitch. Oh my god! I, don't, I ain't never flew on a plane. I'm scared. So you know what I mean? Her little ugly, pretty ass. You know what I'm saying? Might didn't want to jump on the plane. So she jumped her big head ass on the Greyhound, or maybe she got on the plane. So anyway, okay, bam. She ends up coming through. Uh, they. You know what I mean? I'm giving you the rundown. And now, you know what I mean? They're at the house. She ain't never seen it before. She ain't never had her own. He don't know that this this hot on Instagram with this big ass, she lived with her mama. Or she lived with her girlfriend. Or she go place to place with her 100,000 follower on, on Instagram having ass. She don't have her own place. Okay? Be not deceived. So, you know what I mean? You have bras that don't have their own place. You know what I mean? You got a Metro PCS. And now that when the bitch came, because he, he got enough sense, most of us will have that much sense. He sees the bitch got a Metro PCS. He sees the bitch got a motherfucking Boots Mobile. He seen uh, that, you know what I mean? When she came, her nails wasn't done. You know what I mean? Her nails was looking crazy. So he knows that his lifestyle, his life is better than hers. So he's in position. And plus, she nines out of 10, these bras don't even be mobile. Bitch ain't got a place. She ain't mobile. She just got a lot of followers and she just pretty. You know what I mean? But I don't want you to get her being pretty and her actually doing something in life to be mixed up because it's not to be mixed up. Okay? But. Okay, check it out. Now that they didn't set up there, you know what I mean? She didn't seen the house. He could tell that she mesmerized. Why? Because a can always tell when a bitch ain't never had shit. Okay? Bitches that ain't never had shit gonna let you know that they ain't never had shit. You know what I mean? She gonna sit up there like she she gonna be looking at your regular ass shit as if that's something 
But in reality, you know that it's nothing. But in her little world, it's something. So, you know what I mean? You have individual. Yeah, she's impressed by pretty much the heir of God. So, okay, now, you know what I mean? He take her around Vegas, driving around, seeing, you know what I mean? The flashing lights, you know what I mean? All type of shit. And, you know what I mean? He didn't already ate it. He didn't already been in it. They didn't already swap spits. You know what I mean? They didn't already exchange bodily fluids. You know what I mean? To let him hit raw. I'm giving you this real. Nothing pretty. You know what I mean? He didn't already hit raw Dilla. And some of these broads really get emotionally attached just like that. I hate to say it, but the best way to some of these broads brain, you know, is to stick a dick in their pussy. And I know that sounds stupid, like, what? Yes, you know what I mean? Some of these broads really be drunk. You know what I mean? Some of them be tongue tongue whipped. You know what I mean? And especially if the nigga sat up there and did what he did right, and, you know. So now she's in Vegas, and now she begins to wonder, like, wow, you know, uh, I don't want to go back to Memphis. Or I don't want to go back to Nashville. I don't want to go back to Chicago. I don't want to go back to cold ass Minnesota. Minnesota. I don't want to go back to cold ass New York. You know what I mean? I like I like this. It actually looks better. And now, you know what I mean? She's seeing different bras walk up and down the strip with their hair done, nails done. Feet done, looking good. Some of them, you know what I mean? Most of them bitches look like they just got out of a fight. But, you know, uh, she's seeing some shit. You know what I mean? She, she, she's seeing, and she's infatuated. She's captivated. She's mesmerized. You know what I mean? And he can see that. A weekend turns into a week. He's been fucking on and licking on her a whole week. You know what I mean? And now, you know, it was revealed that how he ended up basically, you know what I mean, having the things that he had. And then you have something that actually turned on abroad. And I'm never going to say turn out because he didn't turn her out to the game. But one thing he did do was turn her on to some prostitution. Okay. And a lot of broads have came into prostitution that way. And it might sound you know, far-fetched to a lot of y'all, but yes, a lot of broads end up prostituting and end up, you know, getting into prostitution just like that. You know what I mean? But guess what? That ain't gonna last. Live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.